I'm here to lend you a hand with your fighting skills. The hand puns were funny the first 50 times. Knock it off. Lesson number one. You need to learn how to handle your emotions. <laughs> handle. I'm glad Funko finally made a Braun pop from Game of Thrones. I'd have to say that Braun is probably in my top three favorite characters from the show. So I'm happy I finally get to add him to my collection. This pop isn't too flashy, but Braun isn't too flashy in the show, so I suppose that's appropriate. They got his leather chest armor just right. It really does look like the one he wears, and I like the way they sculpted the chainmail and just the rest of his body. It looks good. And his belt looks really cool, just like the way he wears it, flapped over like that. The sword is a little weird though. I can't remember if in the show it has these sections like this, or if that's just a weird paint job or a weird sculpt. But that's a small thing because the sword actually looks pretty good. I'm really liking his head. They got the hairline just right because he does have a receding hairline. And I like that they sculpted the mustache and the goatee, and the also the little thin beard, instead of just painting it on like they do on so many pops. Like if you look at the recent Falcon Pop, his goatee is just painted on where I think it would have been better if they just would have sculpted it um, in. The paint job isn't the best around his hairline. Um, I, might even, I might be able to take some of this off with an X-Acto. I'll see if I can without damaging it, but it's not too bad. But yeah, the hair looks really good. The back is pretty much the same as the front. A little paint flaw here with the gold. They seem to be real messy with the metallic paints, uh, the gold and the silver. I'm not sure why, but I don't know. Whoever they get brushing that on, it tends to be a little messy. Because in the front, there's a little bit of gold here where I don't think it's supposed to be there. It actually doesn't look too bad. It makes it look more, you know, worn. But I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be that way. But it's not too bad. I like the way they included his sheath for his sword too. Even though there's no way that sword could fit in there. But yeah, overall I'm really happy with Braun. He's one of my favorite characters, mostly because he isn't flashy. He's not over tripping someone in the middle of a battle just to win it. He's really smart, really clever, and he's like the perfect person to help Tyrion out. Because I, I believe they're both just ruthless and smart in their own way. And I don't think I'd want anybody else besides Bronn covering my back. Just a really cool character and a really good pop. A lot of people hate the Lannisters, but I think they have some of the best storylines in the show, including Jamie. This is the second time they've put out a Jamie pop. The first one has the longer hair and his armor. And it's cool, but I wasn't too big on it, so I didn't get it. But I do really like this current Jamie with the severed hand and the scars on his face. I think it looks really cool, so I had to pick him up. This pop looks really good out of the box. You can instantly tell it's Jamie Lannister, probably because of his gold hand. They did a really good job sculpting that and painting it. They did that really well with the handle of the sword too. It's got this little tiny lion's head on the end from his family crest and it's just done really, really well. That's probably my favorite part of this pop is that hand and the handle. They did a good job with his belt too. Even though the paint's a little bit fuzzy on there, the actual sculpt of the belt is nice. I like the way they put his thumb in his belt like this. The ever cocky Jamie Lannister. And that's a really good touch. Because he is a very cocky character, very confident. Although he's been through quite a bit lately. And I like how they represent that in the scars on his face. They did those really well. They're pretty subtle. But they're there and they actually look like scars. But yeah, he's got his hand chopped off lately. He's been tortured. He's been captured. He's been used. But... I think that's maybe why I prefer this sculpt of Jamie Lannister to the old one. Because the one with the armor and the longer hair, it's kind of like when I didn't like the character and he seemed irredeemable. So credit to the writing because now he's very sympathetic. I like him. He's one of my favorites. So I prefer this version of Jamie than the old one. His hair is a little bit bigger in the show. It's got a little bit more going on here. But they did a good job with it. I just wish the paint job was a little bit better. Like right here, it's a little sloppy. They didn't get that done very well, but overall, the paint is pretty decent on this pop. My only complaint really being 
the belt. The belts could have been better and just that. But overall, he's a good sculpt. Really good pop. I thought it was a really cool idea when they had Braun train Jamie because Braun is a dirty fighter. And when you're missing your sword hand, you need every weapon in your arsenal at your disposal, including being a dirty fighter. So I thought that was really cool and their scenes were really great to watch. I'm glad I'm able to have Braun and this version of Jamie in my Game of Thrones pop collection. Why did they have to send you? Because I am hands down the best fighter on Westeros. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs>